Hi students, in this uh, video we are going to discuss about the types of friction. In the early videos of the friction, we already discussed what is the definition of friction and what factors the friction is depends on. In this video, we are going to discuss mainly about the types of friction. There are four types of frictions are there. Number one, static friction. Number two, rolling friction. Number three, sliding friction. Number four, fluid friction. First comes to the first type of friction that is static friction. The word static means the body is at rest. The word static is a Greek word which means the body is at rest. Means here both of the bodies or motion should be at rest. For example, a bird is sitting on the branch of a tree. Here the bird and at the same time tree both of them are at rest. Now between the legs of the bird and the back of the tree there will be a friction is there. That friction is nothing but static friction. A book is kept on the bench. Book is at rest and the bench is also at rest. Now the frictional force present between the book surface and the bench surface is static friction. A person is standing on the floor means he is at rest. So there will be a frictional force between the legs of the person and the surface of the ground. That force is called static force. Now what is the meaning of the static force? If both the bodies of contact which are at rest, now that force is called static friction. See the definition. The frictional force that arises when the objects are at rest. That rest in the word indicates static. Statista means rest. Here also, frictional force F is directly proportional to normal force. F is directly proportional to M. To remove the proportionality, what should we introduce? A constant we should introduce. That constant is represented by letter mu. But this constant is because of rest. For that sake only, F is equals to mu k into M. What is mu k? Mu k is called coefficient of a static friction. If simply friction is there, simply mu we can write. But this is because of coefficient of a static friction. Now mu k is equal to f by m. This is an example and as well as explanation about the static friction. Let us come to the second type of friction that is rolling friction. What is meaning of rolling? One of the object should roll on the another object. One of the object should roll on the another object. For example purpose, if you observe, a stone is rolling from the top of a hill. So here what does it mean? It is a rolling, means it is skidding from the top of a hill. For example, say a small kid will be there, the small kid will slide over a ladder, means slimly he is kidding from that. So one of the object, for example, say an ice piece is there, the ice piece will slide, not rolls. So it does not come under rolling friction, it will come under sliding friction. Rolls means one object should roll on the another object. Then and there only we can say that friction is called rolling friction. For example, a cylinder is there. If you push the cylinder on the ground, the cylinder will roll on the ground. So at that time the friction present between that surface of the cylinder and the person or the ground surface is called rolling friction. So one of the objects should roll on the another object. 
Now see this rolling friction. The rolling, the frictional force that arises when the one of the object rolls on the another object. The frictional force that arises when one of the object rolls on the another object. Such friction is called rolling friction. As per the formula, frictional force is directly proportional to normal. Then F is equals to mu s into m. What is this mu s? Mu s is nothing but coefficient of mu r into m. R stands for rolling friction. Mu s stands for slide. Mu r coefficient of rolling friction. Then mu r is equals to f by m. Here, mu r stands for coefficient of rolling friction. Let us discuss the sliding friction as well as fluid friction. Let us discuss sliding friction. We already discussed it till now, static friction, rolling friction. Static friction is because when the objects are at rest. Rolling friction is the because of objects are rolling one each other. In the rolling friction, both the objects may be in motion or one of the objects may be in motion. Now, come to the sliding friction. One body should slide on another body. At that time, the friction is erased. That friction is called sliding friction. For example, in your classroom, or otherwise in the verandas or otherwise in the ground simply you are going to slide by using your shoes after running for certain time we are going to slide on the floor at that time there is a friction is there between your body and the ground that is called sliding friction for example a small kid is sliding over a surface so the friction is sliding friction an inclined plane is there, on the inclined plane you are skipping, that is called sliding friction. So, what is the meaning of sliding friction now? The friction that arises when one of the off body slides on the other body is called sliding friction. As we know, friction is directly proportional to normal. F is equal to mu s into m. What is mu s? coefficient of sliding friction. Now mu s is equal to f by n. See, we have coefficient of static friction mu k, coefficient of rolling friction mu r, coefficient of sliding friction mu s. Among all these, the concept, this is more amount of the friction is mu k is greater than mu s is greater than mu r. So among all those, the smallest friction is nothing but coefficient of rolling friction. Why? Because whenever your body rolls over another body, the friction is less. This is only the principle that what we are using while in the construction of ball bearings. In the case of ball bearing also, the ball moves or rolls on the another object. Again, we may discuss how the ball bearing principle will work. Now, let us come to the fourth type of friction that is nothing but fluid friction. As we know, what is meaning of friction? Resistance opposed to the movement of the objects. Okay, then what is fluid? Fluid is nothing but the substance which flows from one place to another place is called fluid. For example, say if you consider the bench, bench does not move. So bench is a rigid body. Why? Because it does not move. Water, if you flow the water or if you pour the water to a place, it moves from one place to another place. So water is an example of a fluid. Air flows from one place to another place. Any gases will flow from one place to another place. They are called fluids. So the substances which flows from one place to another place is called as a fluid. 
the examples of the fluids are all the liquids and as well as gases now we are going to discuss what is meaning of fluid friction for example you throw the ball into the air or you throw the ball into the water is it moves till the end no it will stop at a particular point why the water or otherwise the air is applying the force on the ball means they are applying the frictional force is the invisible force we can't see that but it is acting means the force applied by the liquid on the ball or the force applied by the air on the ball is nothing but frictional force well, fluid friction why because both of them are restricting the movement of the object both of them are the examples of fluids water and air are the examples of fluids so the friction applied by the fluid on the object is nothing but fluid friction for example if we consider or if you take a glass of water with a spoon stir the water by using the spoon is the water will move continuously no if we stop the process of stirring the water after certain time comes to rest why it will comes to rest because the frictional force between the glass tumbler layers and the water layers is the reason for coming of that movement of water into the rest means there is certain amount of the force is applied by the water on the walls of the tumbler then water will comes to rest such kind of the forces are called fluid friction same one more word is there that is called drag drag is nothing but the frictional force applied by the fluids is called drag it is a special word fluids is nothing but drag various such kind of the frictions that we can see now what are the factors that uh, fluid friction depends on the number one speed of the fluid for example you are swimming in the water or you are swimming in a river the river is flowing very fastly this means flood we are you are swimming in a flood or you are swimming in a stagnated water in which case the frictional force will be more whenever you are swimming in the flood why because flood is nothing but large amount of the water means speed of that fluid is more frictional force is also more fluid is less frictional force is also less for example a bird is flying in the air why the birds will fly at top ends it won't fly at the nearer ends to the ground Why? Because at the top ends, speed of the air is less. Then friction offered by this body is also less. Come to this shape of the object. See the shape of the beak of an aeroplane. The front portion of an aeroplane and the front portion of your bird is similar. Why? Why it is arranged like that? Because. the special arrangement of the bird to reduce the fluid friction by itself like that only we arranged the beak of an aeroplane as in the shape of the beak of a bird then it is one of the method to reduce the friction this means the shape of object if you see the shape of a ship shape of the ship at the very beginning of the ship look like as a knife edge why it will be broad if it is broad area will be more friction also will be more for the purpose to cut the water to move the water freely the shape of a ship is arranged in the look like as a knife edge and it is too high next last one nature of the fluid as the nature of the fluid is different frictional force is also different for example the fluid water apply more amount of the frictional force as compared to the air 
Why? Because the distance between the molecules are more in the water when compared to the distance between the molecules in air. Like this, we can discuss various such kinds of the frictional forces that is static friction, rolling friction, sliding friction, fluid frictions. In the next coming videos, we are going to discuss how to increase the friction and how to decrease the friction, what are the uses of the friction, what happens if the friction is disappeared. Thank you.